Hey guys, I'm Kenny, and today we're creating a technology use case document with MS PowerPoint. Start by opening a new presentation. I'm using version 2019, but you can do this with the earlier versions of PowerPoint. Next, navigate to the insert menu. Select the chart menu item in the illustrations section. You should see the dialog box similar to this pop-up with the available types of charts. Click on the pie chart and then to the donut variation. In the mini Excel sheet, count the number of actors for your use case and add one. My actors are developer, ops, support, ETL process, management, business user, and analyst. So a total of seven. I'm going to add one to that number so I can evenly split the chart into eight segments. That means I will have 80% for each of the donut sections under the actor column. For the different names of the actor, I'm just leaving it blank. Notice how the chart is automatically updating in the background. Once you're done, you should end up with something like this. Click on the chart title and delete it. Do the same with the legend. This will make your chart larger. Select the bottom chart segment and format to fill the color white. Select the chart by clicking anywhere in the PowerPoint document and then clicking on the chart again. Press Control C to copy the chart and then press Control V to paste the chart. Make the chart slightly larger by selecting one of the corners and dragging it. Now move the larger chart over the smaller one. It should appear centered. Continue to adjust the size until you're satisfied. Once you're done, make sure both charts are centered. PowerPoint makes it easy by putting crosshairs as a visual cue. Finally, move the larger chart to the back. We're going to change the donut color to the larger chart sections. This is the chart's border and creates a visual interest. Finally, color the bottom segment to white again so that it blends in with the document. I'm adding little circles and changing the fill of the outline colors. Next, I'm going to manually move the circles to separate the two charts. To make things easier, I'm just copying and pasting the shapes and moving them into the spot on the chart. Next comes a text for the actors. To save yourself some time, create and format one and then copy and paste for the other actors, updating the text later. I've always been told not to have more than three bullet items. That's because this diagram becomes an eye chart. Finally, Add the lines for each of the segments and connect it to the little circles we created earlier. Embellish the document with branding, pictures, and text, and now it's a party. Here's what mine looks like at the end. See you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.